Uh, hey everyone, so today we're going to be making a uh, bone ESP. It's going to be a continuation of my ESP series. Um, basically what it does is we loop through a bone matrix and then we um, render all the bones of a player. So first we're going to have to create a bone.hpp in our source file. So that's going to be bone.hpp. We're going to have to create a enum bones. And it's going to be an int. So here are our definitions. Uh, so basically all of these point to, um, well, their names basically. Uh, so six as an example is the head and neck is five, spine is four, etc. Uh, I'll leave these in the description. So we're going to create a struct called bone connection. Uh, we're going to need two ints, which is int bone one and int bone two. Let's make a constructor. Simply explain what this is meant to do is connect these two together. Okay, so bone one and bone two, they want to be connected together. Uh, next, we're going to make our actual bone connections. So as an example, head and neck want to be connected together. So let's do that. Call it bone connection because we're using our struct. The actual name of it is a bone connections. And then equals, and we're going to want bone connection and then six to five and bone connection five to five four um so this is a super short example uh, as you'll see this connects head to neck and then neck to the spine so next we'll want to do all our of um all our definitions so i've already done this on my other esp um you can just copy this basically uh you can probably skip out on some of these reads like spine to spine one you can just do spine to like hip or something but uh you know we'll we'll, we'll go with it uh so next we want to head into our main.cpp let's also not forget to include our bone.hpp because uh I forgot that before. Uh, we're also gonna want to head into a render and make a line function. I already made this because uh, this might be my second time recording this. Uh, anyways, you can basically just copy this over. Uh, while you do, I'll tell you about it. So what we do is take an x1 and y1 and we basically connect it back to an x2 and y2. Uh, the point is, this is where the line comes from and this is where it's meant to go. Uh, and then we define a color and thickness. Actually, that should be an int, but it's fine. Uh, let's head into our main.cpp. And down here, you're going to want to make a uh, new RGB called white. Actually, you don't need to do this, but I like to have my ESP, uh, bone ESP white. We're also going to remake our head because this is a hard-coded value, which is never good in coding, uh, which is going to be ironic that I say that because we're going to have to hard-code some values right now to get our bone array. Uh, so just follow along. So that's our game scene. It's just the uh, player pawn structs and... Uh, plus 0x3110, 310, sorry. And then we're going to get our bone array through our game scene. And this is going to be our game scene, plus 0160, and then plus 0x80. Right, so next we want to change our head. You can use the hard coded value because um, when you just use the bone array, it actually is the middle of the head because that's where the, well, center of the actual uh, bone is. So the box will end in the, uh, in the middle of their head. But, I mean, I'd like to use the bone array more because you can see when they're crouching. But, you know, that's completely your choice. Anyways, bone array, bones, head, which is 6, and then times 32. So in CSGO, uh, it used to be 0x30. But, um, you know, these things constantly change. Well, not constantly, but every time they make a new game. So you don't really have to know why this is times 32 because I sure as hell don't. But, um... You know, as long as you know what you're doing and, you know, it works, um, you know, be happy. Anyways, enough with that rant. Uh, let's make our for loop now for our actual... So, uh, I'll code this with you because it's quite a long line. So, it's 4 and then int i equals 0. And then we're going to do i through the size of our bone connections. Then divided by our size of bone connections... Uh, And then uh, loop through our index. Uh, this is throwing an error. Oh, it's throwing an error because I missed an S there. There we go. It was calling the actual struct. Uh, and then it should be a small b there. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I was calling the actual struct instead of, of uh, instead of our name. You should probably change this to like b connections or something. Anyways, uh, we need to define our bone 1 and bone 2 now. Uh, by the way, control D to copy entire lines. So I just change this to bone 2. And this to bone two. Nice. Uh, now we want to define our vector. Since uh, we're not going to be writing this much, vector bone one, we're going to write this one more time after this. You don't really need to um, worry about the name length. We're going to be reading a vector, and it's going to be bone array plus bone one, since we're looping through our entire bone connections. 
and it's going to be our um, number one here in our bone connections. Uh, that's really badly explained, but basically just this row is what we're reading when we're reading bone one, and then times 32. And again, uh, control D to copy entire lines, change this to vector bone two, and this to bone two. Uh, this line will loop through the uh, second row here. Anyways, uh, now when you get to our um, bone one like uh, world screen, we need to run it through our world screen function. Uh, now you want to worry about length, so vector three, I'm just gonna call it b1 equals vector bone one dot world to screen. We're gonna call our view matrix, and there we go. Once again, control D to copy entire lines, vector two and vector two. Uh, next, we wanna call our uh, line function. So let's run this, and there we go. So it's super fucking laggy. Uh, I'll show you on my actual like own. What the fuck? Uh, anyways, I think that's actually just because of lag, but um, I'll show you on my own ESP. Uh, where I've actually done some optimization on my own, and I'll show you that it's not laggy at all. One second. Uh, anyways, uh, it's not as laggy, but it's all obviously going to be laggy since, um, well, I'm recording, I have Visual Studio open, and uh, I also have Google open for notes. It's a very nice Mone ESP. Uh, I also have a head dot on my own. Uh, actually, I'll show you how to do that. Give me a sec. So what you can do is just use screen head dot X and screen head dot Y, and then uh, draw a circle. Um, but the thing is... If you change, put the radius to as an, as an example, like, um, I don't know, let's say 10, then it's going to increase in size the further away you get, you know, and that looks kind of shit. So we're going to define a head height uh, instead, which is going to be changing constantly. Um, so let's do that. We're using these two values, which are being run through world to screen. It's going to be a 2D uh, position on our screen. So it's not going to change in size. Understand? So float head height equals... But y minus screen head dot y divided by 8. Uh, this is what I found works the best. You can obviously fuck around and find out, you feel me? You can try to find something on your own, but this is where it worked the best for me. So, uh, let's head into our render, actually, because we need to be able to render a circle. You can also do a filled circle. It's the same uh, calling convention, but uh, I like to do a uh, normal circle. So, void circle. Uh, also... Since uh, we're only naming it line and circle, it's going to look uh, like this. So instead of uh, render and then draw circle, it's just going to be render circle, which uh, makes a lot more sense, in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to need a float x, float y. Um, we're also going to need a radius and also a color. Uh, so it's I'm UI get background draw list, add circle, I'm vec2, x, y. Radius, it's going to be radius. Color is color. We don't need any segments, so zero. And the thickness is going to be one. Let's render our head dot. So render circle screen head dot x, screen head dot y, head height minus three. Uh, I found that minus three works the best because it's like almost the exact size, but. Uh, some people like a larger circle. And there we go. That should be our head dot. There we go. That's our head dot. Now, this is obviously super fucking laggy. Um, it's not really a good idea to make a uh, render call like this. We should also be reading the entire uh, struct in one call. But whatever, man. For a, um external ESP, this is a great base for you guys to start on. Uh, also, don't forget, we're adding more shit uh, later on. So, I hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoy your bone ESP because I don't find it a lot of people uh, making pasteable bone ESPs. Um, so, you know, you're welcome. And uh, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you another time.